All right, there you, all right, there you guys again. Welcome to another one of my live videos, and today I'm going to be updating you basically on some more latest news I have just recently currently read up. Uh, it's about Thomas Lehmann, uh, the growing speculation now that's been going on with Arsenal and Monaco about Thomas Lehmann. It's been going on for quite a while now. It's been one of um, Arsene Wenger's main targets to get um, him on the border, Thomas Lehmann. Uh, also, another one of the targets has been Keelan Mbappe. I think they've also showed a slight interest in getting Fabinho as well. So, a lot of high-profile teams have uh, gone for a lot of Monaco players. Um, I think Thomas Lehmann quoted out that um, basically he would like to join Arsenal. He would currently like to depart the club. But currently, as Monaco have been a team that's been hard to negotiate with this summer, Currently now the vice president of currently Monaco has um, stood firm, he's been ruthless and he's uh, stepped into this situation and he's basically said Thomas Lehmann is staying with us. He also said Fabinho is staying with us and he also said um, Keely doing talks about extending um, Keely and Mbappe's, uh, Mbappe's contracts as well. This is what the vice president's quoted out, these players are essential for us. They've got immense talent, they're important figures and they are key players and they are basically um, staying with us. This is what the Vice President of of Monaco has quoted out and also I will address the case of this speculation. This is what some of the things he had currently quoted out with the scenario around Thomas Lehmann. We know bids have been rejected before. Um, I, I can't remember the full honour bids that had been rejected. Is it two or three? Um, wasn't it that they agreed a 45 million deal? Was that included the add-ons for the appearances and the performances? But I think the the amount of time that it's been speculating for Thomas Lehmann, Monaco are still resisted to it. They're reluctant to sell him. They've set the price tag out for a staggering £80 million for Thomas Lehmann. That's £80 million, so that's basically what they may be asking Arsenal for, £80 million. Also, he's, he's reluctant to sell Fabinho as his five president. He's had a current say in this as well. Currently, he had options out there, did Fabinho. He was one of our targets that we wanted to get on the board. Um, He was... Who else target wanted? I think City had been in there. There were talks of Atletico Madrid being in there, but obviously they've got a transfer ban. Um, there were a lot of teams in there, Fabinho, and currently George, uh, Fabinho's um, client, uh, George Mendes, as well. George Mendes, who's the current client of Fabinho, also. But um, yeah, with the Fabinho, uh, he's he's put, put cold water on the speculation. He said he's, he's insisted as the vice president Fabinho staying. He was basically Demarzio denounced before that um, we were nearly agreed a potential move, a deal for uh, Fabinho, didn't work out. Um, with the Arsenal case with Thomas Lehmann, you know, they've been linked to him for quite a while, they've been hoping to get him on the board. This could be just pure speculation now. I think he's admin he does want to leave the club, but may not happen, may not happen, I do not know. But bids have been rejected. I think he wants to go, but the vice president is standing firm for Monaco. Cause he, but he said that about Bakayoko, he said that about um, Benjamin Mendy, Bernard Silva, but turned out that they left the club and yeah, Monaco have raised a lot of money for this, but as I keep saying, they don't want to sell a lot of their best players, they've already lost a lot of their be best players of uh, Monaco. And also news are breaking out that Arsenal have got another interest in another current player, including Thomas Lehmann. Um, I think he's 21 year old. Um, I can't really pronounce his name out properly. I think he plays for Nice or something like that. Um, he's currently a player that's 21 years of age. Arsenal have showed an interest in him. I think there's a 36 million uh, release clause uh, in the situation, something like that. He has attracted quite a few teams. I think Tottenham have showed their interest in the player. I think Swansea have put a £15 million bid in for him as well. And I think Arsenal, have, have they had a couple of bids rejected for him as well? I'm not quite sure, but I think Arsenal are preparing to pay the uh, the £36 million for the player, who last season, I think, did he make 34 appearances, scored seven goals, got nine assists. So Arsenal are 
lining up a move for him. Also, also there were talk with the Gareth Bale situation. Um, with the Gareth Bale um, situation, um, uh, apparently he'd snubbed Arsenal off. Basically, um, Arsenal might have had an interest in him. Currently, Don Ballon um, reported from currently the Spanish publication that he'd snubbed the. Uh, Asked to love and basically he has no desire to leave Real Madrid. He wants to stay with Real Madrid. Uh, Zidane Zidane may be preparing to sanction Gareth Bale, depending what happens with the Kylian and Mbappe situation. But if Gareth if um, Mbappe joins Real Madrid, he may have to offload him. But Mbappe, if Gareth Bale doesn't get uh, uh, offloaded from Real Madrid, and Mbappe. And then Mbappe might have changed of plans. He might go along with the extensions at contracts where they're negotiating with it. Or he might go to Manchester City. Or the other possible target that um, he has currently been linked with um, as well. So yes guys, um, that's basically about it. To everything to update you today. Drop your comments and likes below on the video. And take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye.